Hey everybody, Patrick with Rep4. Hey, going over the assault package for the USMG Gunner Vest. Here it is. Now I'm gonna go over the pouches that we chose. Here we've got an advanced sidearm pouch. This is a 2X, so you can be able to fit two. If you have sidearm magazines, or maybe you wanna fit a multi-tool, a flash grenade, anything that can fit inside these pouches, it's right here for you. Here we have a 2X carbine magazine pouch. Now I prefer this elastic version because it's really fast to get to, and it's, in my experience, it's just as secure as the Velcro flap version. Here we have an admin pouch. This pouch is really good for any kind of maps or your keys or a cell phone, something that you don't want to get paint on. You can put it here, especially with cell phones, it's really close to your face so you can hear it ring if you need to get to it. It has a big blue panel on the front for a unit identifier or a name tape or any, anything that you want to put here patch-wise. On the back right, we've got a combat lifesaver pouch. Now that's a first aid kit for those of you who aren't familiar, but it can double as an anything pouch. If you wanna have some squeegees or some equipment, a cleaning kit, anything like that, it's a good place for it. It's out of the way, so it doesn't mess with your movement, but you can still get to it if you wanna take a second to reach. Now in the back, I've got a Molly Camelback. I prefer the Molly version because it just limits the amount of straps that are over your body. The uh, shoulder strap version on top of a vest, you start to have a lot of stuff, especially if you've got a sling that isn't mounted like this one. It's going to have uh, some kind of issues with maybe getting knotted up or you have to take off all of this stuff if you want to get it off instead of just kicking your vest off. Attach the D-rings on the Camelback, I have a V-sling. I like this kind of a sling because it makes the marker fall straight down. Whether you're doing a weapon transition or if you're just resting it there, it's nice not to have your marker off to one side where it's going to bang into your legs or get in the way of your movement. Here, you don't even really notice it there. It also has a little bit of spring to it um, so that when you are running or if you do drop it in a weapon transition, it doesn't just jerk your vest. It has a little kind of softly lets it down. It's pretty nice. In addition to that, it has a little quick clip here on the front. You can take your marker off if you want to put it back in this case or do whatever you got to do and then just clip it back on. This part that stays on your marker, it can just stay on there dedicated if you wanted to. You never have to take it off if you're going to run this sling with your vest all the time. It's pretty cool to be able to have it just quick disconnect instead of having a mess with one of these straps.